thanks so much for joining me for this Get Ready With Me featuring my October favorites. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. So in this video, I put the look together that I featured in the uh, favorites video. I try and use as many favorites as possible that I can on my face at once, but I had so many favorites. So you might not see all of them featured, but I do have dedicated videos to each and every one of these items. So make sure to head over. I'll try and remember to list them below. But let's go ahead and get started. Since I recently just did a look using the Chanel Waterfresh Tint, which I love with more dramatic eyes, I thought we'd go in with my other favorites, which I rediscovered. They're not new, but they are the Chantecaille Just Skin Tinted Moisturizers. And actually, one of the shades is newer to me, the shade Glow, which is lighter and warmer versus tan, which is a little deeper and cooler. Uh, so I like mixing them together. You don't have to, but I just happen to have both of them, so I'm gonna mix them together. I'm also going to mix them with another favorite. So let's do a little uh, customizing here. So we've got glow, we've got tan, and then we're gonna go in with just a little bit of the Chanel. This is the Iridescent Illuminating Fluid in Or Ivoire. So we're gonna mix that in as well. Oh, well that was a little bit more than I intended. So we have uh, a lot more of that illuminator than I really meant to put there, but, We'll make it work. So I'm just mixing this on my hand and take my favorite, I'll list all of my favorite brushes. I mean, they don't really change that much uh, because I love usually the same ones and it's rare that I integrate a new brush that I love, but I'll list them all below. This is the Shiseido one that I think some of you picked up at the sale. So just really quick application. Oh yeah, I'm definitely more glowy than I meant to, but that's okay. We'll take care of that with some powder. Yes, if you wanna add some glow, definitely work some of this in there. Um, it's really pretty. So we're gonna go in with some concealer. My concealers are also the same, pretty much, except we're gonna integrate a little bit of the peach low lighter. So let's do this with the Sizzly under eye concealer as normal. This is a brush from the Chanel Le Sens de Ton Foundation, the one in the pump not the one in the jar. Uh, so I'm just gonna quickly apply. This is a bit of an adjustment from what I normally use. I've been using a Clé de Peau in Mocha, which is a cooler shade, but I don't know, my skin tone is warmer or the foundations I'm using have a warmer undertone. So I've been using Honey. So that's been really nice. So just quickly integrating that in. That's why I love the Clay de Peau concealer so much. It just doesn't take much work at all to get that in place. And it does a lot of heavy duty coverage, especially if you have dark areas like I do, though they're not as dark as before. I did want to try something with the Peach Low Lighter because that was a favorite of the month. I really like it for more lightweight kinds of coverage, as well as like your no makeup makeup days. And there was one day I did my makeup using the, um, just this and their powder and my skin looks so nice. Oh, not just this. Actually, I had the tinted moisturizers on with it and this and the Rodeal Power powder, which we'll use in a moment. So this is the Rodeal Low Lighter right here, but I'm gonna use the La Prairie brush because it's a really nice one. So let's go in with this. I usually will just apply it here, 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 um, but let's try it more strategically. I'm curious if it will work like the La Prairie. Okay, nice brightening effect on that one. Just going in with something that I'm still testing out. It's the Chantecaille Next Generation Eye Base products and not quite a favorite yet, but I thought let's try two of them today. Usually I will just go in with the medium, but I wanna try something a little bit different. I'm gonna put this medium all over. And I do get creasing right here. I think it's just my eye area. It kind of doesn't depend on what it is. It doesn't matter if it's like the best primer or not, it will still gather a little bit. So I just have to remember not to put as much there. Then let's take the lighter one, this one, because it comes in two shades. And let's do that right like under the brow bone a bit and just smudge that into the brow bone and a little bit underneath, just to see if we can build a little bit of dimension with these products. I do like to push it into the brow for a little bit of primer for the brows as well. 
let's go in next with the rhodial glass pattern. I don't think this is as widely available right now. It's kind of been a hot item, so it's been selling out. Uh, so I will keep my eye out when I see it pop up in more places. But I had a chance to try this because um, we had a little Zoom with the founder of Rodeal and she was teaching us all about these amazing products. So I really do love this powder that they came out with. And that's kind of rare that I like a powder that much because I have so many powders that I think are just okay. But this one's really lovely, really nice and lightweight. Still provides a nice glow, but it's not shimmery or sparkly at the same time. So they got a really nice balance here. This is another favorite brush, the La Mer brush. And I rarely will apply powder, loose powders like this. Usually I'll use a, um, like a puff, but this works really well like this. Yeah, we'll take a little of that glow down as well. It's a lot of glow on that. Now when I'm not looking for perfected, I'll just go in like this. Oh, it's that concealer. And then I'll uh, just go ahead with the rest of my makeup. But because I have this and because I like it a little bit more perfected in the front, we're gonna go in with the Chantecaille Perfect Blur Powder. And another favorite brush, the Chantecaille Buff and Blur. Okay, let's go ahead with brows. Favorite brow pencil. It'll really be an amazing brow pencil to beat this one because I just think it's so wonderful. It's really easy to use too. Then we've got the Dior Show Pump and Brow in 002 for the brow gel. And this is something that I rediscovered because I was trying to put that Sephora uh, video together and I forgot how much I loved this. This has probably got the strongest hold of any of the eyebrow gels that I've tried. So if you're looking for a more firm hold, then this one's a really great one. Now we're gonna go in with bronzer. <laughs> I think we know which one I'm gonna pick. Guerlain Terracotta. This is the one in gold bronze from the Holiday Collection. Another favorite brush, the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer brush. It's retractable, retractable by the way. It retracts and then there's a cover that goes on it as well. I don't know where that is right now, but it does come with a cover. Eyes now, we'll wait on the blush. So let's do the eyes first. I wanna go in with this one by Chantecaille. It's the Luminescent Eye Shade in Leopard. And the other one, I couldn't find anymore, the Tiger one, so if you missed that one, I. Don't think it's available, but if you did want this one, I think it's a really versatile shade. So we're gonna actually go all over the eye with this. Really simple one and done shade. And all of these favorites have a video somewhere in the recent past. So if you'd like to see any of the more detailed videos, I show swatches, close-ups, demos. Um, so if you want more detail, I'll try to remember, <laughs> I always forget. I'll try to remember to list all of the videos below. I'm gonna blend that a little bit. By the way, I'm just taking a little bit of the Perfect Blur Powder and just Sweeping it on the edges just to soften. Hi, honey. Bye -bye. Are you going? Yeah. Okay. okay. Be safe, my love. So let's go ahead now with the Byredo palette. So you could do one and done like this. I think it's really pretty, but I do want to integrate this khaki color and then this green color because I just love this palette so much. I wanted to find a reason to use it. Let's go ahead and take this dark green shade. We're gonna add it to the outer corners. Okay, and then finally, let's take this shade 
this green shade. I'm just going to take my finger. So this is very similar to the other look I did, except I'm not using the navy shade. And I used this deeper green shade just for the exterior. And I think we're going to not use the silver shade. Oh yeah. So now we're taking this lightest shade, placing that on the lid. Oh yeah. Pretty. Yeah, that's really beautiful. I'm gonna take, let's see. I wanted to use this shade because I forgot I had it actually. And I thought, oh, I should have used that. I think so many eyeliners could work with this, but we're gonna go in with Black Forest by Chantecaille. And then I think I'm gonna tight line with that. Actually, I'm gonna go all the way. I'm gonna go on the water line, tight line, go above the lash line. So let's do that first. Let's go above the lash line, let's do a little kitten wing. So that's all I'm going to do there. I'm going to tight line with this waterline mascara, and then we'll be back. I went in with the Rodeal mascara on top, and I went in with the Chantecaille lashes, not the lashes, <laughs> the mascara on the bottom lashes. So Rodeal on the top for the lashes, Chantecaille on the bottom lashes. Okay, let's go in with a blush. I'm going to take this one by... Victoria Beckham Beauty, and I had a chance to try all of them, and I think they're all so pretty. But the one that I'm using the most is the shade Major. So I'm gonna use this brush, which I wish I got this before, <laughs> a long time ago. It's the Clay de Poe brush that I recently picked up because it really helps with application for liquid and cream blushes. I think you can use it with powder blush as well, but I wanted to show you that you can bring this all the way up to the front and not have an issue. If you have texture or you have extra makeup like I do in the front because of the concealer and then I just wanna make sure I don't lift it off, the brush really helps make sure that doesn't happen. Definitely one of my favorite blush formulas and blush shades almost that I've ever tried, which is a huge statement because I love blush and I've tried so many of them. Really easy to apply, beautiful shade, melds with the skin, has a lovely glow without anything sparkly, nothing shimmery, and it does have a nice like feel about it, really comfortable. Okay, so I could stop there, but you know me, I'm gonna do a little bit more. I've been loving this blush on top of other blushes as well as by itself. I'm gonna try and layer these. I haven't layered this combination yet, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I really do need a case though. This is one of the Clay de Poe blushes. We're just gonna take this lighter shade right here. We're just gonna apply this all over the cheek. I love how that just softens and refines everything. So here it is with and then without. So they're both really pretty, but I think with this extra dimension added on, it just makes it that much better. Then we're gonna take this shade, this is what I love about this blush, and just go under to soften it even more. I'm gonna go in with the powder. Now someone asked me, what do I put blush either under or over this powder? So I like to color correct with this powder first, and that gives me an idea of how much blush I need to add, because sometimes I'll use blush as a color corrector as well. Um, and then if I go overboard, like I normally do with blush, I'll go over this with powder again, and also soften it up a little bit. So I especially like to run it on the exterior of the blush, just to soften the edges even more, and then especially up here in front, just to set it a little bit better. So there's a difference between adding a powder on top versus not. I have so many lovely lip shades, but they're very bold and intense, except for one, I think this will go really well. So again, I haven't tried this before, so we'll try it. It's the one I purchased from Victoria Beck, and this is the second one I purchased, the first one I gave it to my sister and then I wanted one back myself, so it's in the shade Spark. This is one of those colors where I'm, when I'm not sure what to add, I'll add this. 
Okay, and then as always, a fragrance. Let's go ahead in with my favorite fragrance. This is the Baccarat Rouge 540. So huge thank you to anyone who recommended this to me. I know many of you did. I do love this so much. But that is it for this get ready with me. So please take care of each other. Stay well if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.